everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly conduct a nitrite test kit by API. Your test kit will come with an instruction manual, a color chart, a test tube, and a cap. Before doing any testing, I do recommend reading the instructions before you begin, uh, but let's just get started. So you're going to take your five milliliter test tube, and here is some water that I pulled from one of our tanks. Um, we use a pipette here to properly fill to the correct line, and you're just gonna fill your test tube up with water, up until you reach the line. Next, you're gonna take your nitrite test bottle, and you are going to add five drops into your test tube. Make sure you hold your bottle completely upside down to ensure that you have uniformity in drop size, and add five drops. After you add five drops, you are going to cap your test tube, and you are going to vigorously shake for five seconds. Now that I have shaken the test tube, we are going to put it down and we are gonna wait five minutes for it to develop. So it's been five minutes and we have waited and we have seen that there is no nitrite in our water, which I assumed because it's an already established system, so that's a good sign. Um, I did do a test on a tank that we are cycling um, and it does have just a little bit of ammonia. Uh, when you wanna read your test kit, you wanna hold it up against the white of the card and see which color it matches up to. This one matches up just barely to the 0.25 parts per million. So that's how we know how much nitrite is in that system that I tested earlier today. Another thing to note, after you are finished conducting your API nitrite test kit, you wanna make sure that you do not pour this water back into your aquarium. You wanna make sure you dispose of it properly, either down the sink or down the toilet. Thank you for watching another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV and have a nice day.